Welcome. This tutorial is one of a series that we are creating to demonstrate the features of the NED user interface. In this tutorial, we will view and interact with a spectral energy distribution plot, an SED. We'll start from the NED homepage and use NGC 6240 as an example. You can enter the name of any galaxy that you are interested in. Click Go. NGC 6240 is a well-studied luminous infrared galaxy in the local universe. The NED response provides an overview of information about the object and some tabs to view additional data. At the top of the overview, there is a small preview plot of the SED and an image of the galaxy. Locate the tab labeled Photometry and SED. It tells you there are over 300 photometric measurements available for this object. Now click the tab. In the Photometry tab, you will see three main sections. The Quick Look Photometry and Luminosities table provides a quick look at the brightest flux density measurement in major spectral regions. When a distance for the object is available, an absolute magnitude or new L nu monochromatic luminosity estimate is presented. The SED plot region presents an interactive graph of all the measurements presented in the main data table in the bottom region. Note there are scroll bars to help you view that table. Hovering your mouse on the column labels gives a detailed description of the column. Click on a column label to sort the rows. We'll click on Frequency to reorder the table in ascending or descending order of the frequency values. Enter a search term in the text field below the header of any column to further filter the result. We're going to search for Chandra in the observed passband column, and we see only the data points from Chandra. You can also click on the gears icon to enter your filter settings. From this menu, you can also show and hide individual columns. Now back to the data table. Notice when you click on a row in the table, the corresponding data point is highlighted in the SED graph. Or, if you select a point in the SED graph, the corresponding row in the main data table is highlighted. Hover the cursor over a point in the SED plot to see the corresponding frequency and flux density values. To zoom in on the graph, click the magnifying glass. It has a plus sign in it. Then click and drag the cursor over an area of interest on the plot. When you release, the plot will zoom to that region. Double click anywhere in the plot to return to the previous view and double click again to view the entire data range. When viewing an SED, it is useful to view the data in units that are related to the emitted energy versus wavelength, like nu f nu. This can reveal more information about the underlying physics and is the real value of the spectral energy distribution plot. Here's the trick. To view an SED with nu f nu units instead of flux density units on the vertical axis, click on the gears icon, then in the y axis section, type in times fr and accept the text completion for frequency. Also check the box marked Log in the y-axis options, and then click Apply to see the spectral energy distribution. We hope you enjoyed and found this brief tutorial helpful. Please check the NED website for other videos, and feel free to send us comments by clicking the Connect with NED icon.